Rune Mei is one of the best units in the game. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So yeah guys, the new unit came out, Rune Mei. And of course, as you guys probably can already guess, I did pull her in 20 pulls. Um, not as good as Kafka, but you know, I'm still out here uh, pulling these units very, very simply, very easily. Now, am I going to go ahead and show that? Uh, absolutely not. So yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and make a video uh, going over Rune Mei. Obviously, I am one of the best free to play players in the game. So we will be testing her uh, to her limits, possibly even breaking her limits. Just because my gear uh, is just that insane. So expect great things in this video. If you guys want a little spoiler, I'll go ahead and tell you this. Rune Mei is one of the new units and she is uh, a new unit. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this and... Uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. So, but yeah, before this video starts, I want to go ahead and make a little announcement. If you're on my friends list, which uh, nobody really is, you probably already spoiled yourself, but I want to go ahead and announce that I have hit Trailblazer level 70 finally. I've uh, come so far to hit this, uh, this achievement, and I want to go ahead and let you guys know that uh, uh, I don't really care too much about it, but we're gonna go ahead and check in with Pom Pom, uh, see what kind of rewards th that thing has for us. So let's uh, let's go ahead and go talk to it. Hey Pom Pom, I've hit level 70. What do you have for me? So we got our level 69. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, that's pretty cool. We get a nice little summon. Let's go ahead and cash this ticket in. See what we can. pom-pom this is not acceptable so yeah after dealing with that we're gonna go ahead and start up the uh Now you might be wondering, Void, what are your Rune Mei stats looking like? I mean, you're putting out an insane amount of damage. She looks like an absolute demon on the battlefield. Like, how good are these stats? I want to go ahead and let you guys know that I won't be showing off any of the stats during this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm absolutely just playing around. We're going to go ahead and look at the stats here. So as you can see, we do have uh, an insane amount of blue numbers. As we all already know, the more blue numbers that you have, the better uh, you are at this game. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the HP. Now you might be wondering, Void, why do you have the HP in the attack uh, at these kind of stats? I mean, couldn't you make them any higher? And uh, as you guys already know, um, you know, if you don't know, then you might uh, start knowing that uh, your opinion doesn't really matter here. Uh, that I don't answer questions, nor do I read anything. We're going to go ahead and go to the crit rate and the damage. Um, as we already know, crit chance does not matter in this game. You can just reset as much as you want. Uh, you're not punished for it, really. And uh, crit damage, I mean, we're coming in with a sweet 61.6. I've already done the calculations of this. Let's just say that uh, MOC is looking like it's going to get one-shotted. And then we have the energy regeneration rate at 100%. I have no clue what that even is, but... Uh, and then we have effect rate, which um, is pretty good, uh, 11.6, I think that's more than enough to hit every debuff uh, that she has in her kit. Um, I don't even know what she has in her kit. We're going to go ahead and take a look at her kit here. Um, obviously, I'm just going to do that and boom, her kit is done. Now let's go ahead and go to the light cone real quick. This light cone is probably one of the best light cones in the game. Um, it does so much, and it's only a 4-star light cone. It might be even better than some of the 5-star light cones. And, of course, I have it completely maxed out because uh, I'm just better at the game, I guess. Uh, we're going to go ahead and not read that. And we're going to go ahead and go over to the traces. Now, the traces are insanely, insanely um, maxed out. I think this is really all you need for Rume. Uh, I think she's just that good of a character. You don't even really need to upgrade the traces. Um, I would definitely save them for somebody like, uh, honestly, I, I actually don't know who you would save it for, so we're going to go ahead and go to the relics. Now, the relics, as you guys can see, um, they are some of the best relics in the game. Now, you might be wondering, Void, why do you have these relics on her right now? It's, it's just kind of because training in the mountains, so I thought I'd go ahead and give her some uh, boots and a nice coat so that she wouldn't freeze. She looks like she's barely wearing any clothing. Uh, I'm not too sure why, but every you know you gotta dress for the occasion, and uh, if you if you want that job, 
Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. And then we have some gloves um, and then a nice little hat too. Um, I do like this hat, it looks very good. I have no clue what these two things are. Um, I still haven't learned about that in the game, maybe I need to unlock something. Um, maybe I need to beat Swarm Disaster level 1 to uh, actually understand what these two little slots do. But anyways, uh, I want to go ahead and thank you guys for... Uh, oh, hold on. Now as you guys know, and I've already said this before, I am a free-to-play player, so... Uh, Edelons, uh, Edelons, Edelons, whatever. Obviously, I don't have any on her. Hopefully, this runemate guide was one of the best that you've watched so far. Honkai Star Rail section is probably saturated with these kind of videos, but uh, hopefully mine stands out uh, a little more than others. Uh, just because, you know, um, I do know what I'm doing, and uh, it kind of shows. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I did beat the deer boss um, a couple of times during uh, Simulated Universe, so... You know, just keep that in mind when you're uh, watching for other videos that I have. And uh, speaking about other videos, we are going to make a Doctor Ratio video too. So uh, if you guys are excited for that, um, I hope you guys are uh, excited for that because um, that unit sucks. But uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. And before we go, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the comments uh, that I got on my last video. I personally think JJ has a point. Even though preservation is trash, March 7th has those follow-up attacks that can crit for some non-negligible damage. The ult also summons ice bunnies, which is cool, but I don't know the legality of freezing bunnies into ice. Hope PETA doesn't catch her. Considering these points, she is the best preservation unit in the game and doesn't deserve sludge tier. She should be around C tier. But I think it's more of a lucky shot. His other takes are truly trash. He misunderstands Bronya. When she uses the skill on herself, she cannot use it again in this turn, so she's basically useless. They're not bunnies. They're pom-poms. So Peter doesn't need to apply. You know you're doing good at making tier lists when a matter freak shows up, and I agree. You know what, I saw you on my feed. I saw what videos you posted. Imma, go subscribe now. Honkai is dead. Honkai releases a free five star for Christmas. So yeah, those were the comments, and uh, thank you guys for commenting and doing all that. It's uh, very appreciated. Okay, bye.